Hello everyone, this is question number 36. This question belongs to computer networking. The question state that in CRC coding, CRC stands for cyclic redundancy check. If the data word is, we have the data word and a divisor is given in the question and we have the remainder as well. So which of the following code is true? So first of all, you need to know that what are the data word and we have the divisor and we have the remainder it, we are given in the table in the question as well. So we have these uh, data word here and we have the divisor so in the crc concept we are adding the additional bits in our code when we are sent this code we are uh, we are adding the additional code in order to find that whether this data will corrupt or not we will check these data later on when we receive it at the receiver side so here how many bits we can add in every data word how we can decide that on the basis of divisor code here divisor bits are n equals to 4 we have the 4 bits so max Maximum how many bits we can add we may add and minus one bits that is three so we may add three more bits after the data word so like here I am adding three zero here so uh, now perform the divide operation here like one zero one zero we will apply here and now apply the XOR operation so in XOR what we have done is we are basically get the one when we have the uh, both inputs are different like on zero one we will get one on one zero we will get one and when both the inputs are same we will get the zero so same operation we will follow in when we are dividing this so on one one we will get zero on one zero we will get one on one one we will get zero on one zero we will get one now take the one from the word now again apply the divide operation again i'm getting one zero one zero and apply the XOR operation 1 1 we will get 0 0 0 we will get 0 1 1 we will get 0 on 1 0 we will get 1 now take again 1 from the upside and then 0 and then this 0 apply the divide operation 1 0 1 0 and then apply the XOR operation on 1 1 we will get 0 1 0 we will get 1 0 1 we will get 1 0 0 we will get 0 now take this 0 as well Again apply the divide operation 1010 zero, zero. apply the XOR, XOR operation 11 one, one, we will get 0 on 11 one, one, we will get 1 on 0 1 we will get 1 and 0 0 we will get 0. So here we are getting the remainder 1100 zero, zero is the remainder and it is given in the question itself. So how, what is the purpose of this having a remainder and in the data word. So here you are observing that we are adding the 3 bits and we are getting the remainder of 3 bits as well. So final code will become when we add the data word with the remainder bits so we have the six one as the data word we have and then add the remainder bit with it so one one zero here so in the example we may see that we have the divisor we have add the three additional bits because we have the n equals to four divisor bits and maximum we can add the n minus one bits here this is our quotient and this is our code word uh, this is our data word and we are again the final word in this case will become one zero one zero and then adding the remainder so this will be the final word in this example and according to our question what will be the final result so the correct option for this question will be option number third here we are getting the exact word which we are having this.